we are prepared for some very very interesting scenario in today's video so if you don't want to miss this out then do watch it till the end and also for those individuals who are new to this channel come on hit that subscribe button and the bell so i want to start this in a very simple way in a weekly time frame by simply using this falling trend line because yesterday on my video i made it very clear in the immediate short term we are actually expecting this relief rally to continue before price to this an actual trend direction why because we found out that around the 17 18 000, we had some very very strong line of support for bitcoin in a monthly time frame and now even this weekly time frame this falling trend line is indicating price has already managed to come across the 20 000. now this line just like here from past price action could be acting as a strong line of support so each and every rich person around this falling trend line could be a very very strong line of support to hold for bitcoin and after this range bound or consolidation we could be slowly starting this new uptrend but this new uptrend could be months even a year of consolidation before it happened so that's why we have to be very very careful because many are also asking me hey anup could this be a dead cat bounce type of scenario playing out here or even a bull trap i mean a beer flag and finally breaking into the down duration yes this could all be playing out as long as the price does not break above this key level of resistance because yesterday on my video i made it very clear around this 22,400, 22,500 is where we could be getting gravitated in the media short term because we found out that in the past price action this 200 weekly moving average has always been a very important support line for us each and every request around this 200 weekly moving average after that we have seen a very nice impulsive movement in price action bitcoin so that's why since the price here was clearly below it the same line which previously acted as a support could be acting as a resistance so that was also the reason why we were actually expecting this relief rally to continue around this 22,400 to even 24,400 price range because we found out yesterday that this CPI line the monthly S1 line was lying around 24,000 and around this area between this range this 22,400 is going to be another resistance line because this 22,400 is the resistance from this 200 weekly moving average so now you can see if the price does overcome this obstacle and manages to find support above it then we are aware this trend is going to continue further further towards this 30,000 area this monthly CPI lines so this monthly CPI line is going to be our upward price target if we do manage to overcome this obstacle first obstacle is this 200 weekly moving average and then this s1 line the monthly s1 line which is lying around 24,700 price range not just only this guys not just only this today what i am also going to talk about is this s p 500 and why this traditional market is actually reflecting maybe the market might not have bottom even after this retracement of 74 75 percent here in price action bitcoin maybe this is not the bottom because if you look at this s p 500 chart let me show you this interesting scenario here now before i switch into other chart i just want to make you aware bybit is organizing this event wsot race to the next level with a price pool up to 8 million usdt i am taking part if you want to be part of my community and trade along with me then do join this squad because if you join as a squad member then they will ask you to write the name which squad leader are you going to choose so if you want to choose me as a squad leader then our group name is piranha piranha because you know piranha never hunts alone so that's why i chose this name so if you want to be part of the piranha community then do join it here it's a very very simple process the link is provided in the description down below so now let's look at this s p 500 and let me share with you this very very interesting scenario which is also pointing us maybe the bottom is not in yet why because we are aware s p 500 has also already seen a retracement up to 25 to 24 percent but why am i still expecting it to go further lower at least towards this 40 to 50 percent before calling it a bottom because we have seen guys each and every mark of face markdown face 
here in S&P 500, the retracement or this markdown phase has always been around 50% in average. So that's why, that's why if this is going to be an actual markdown phase, then you can see just like here from 2000, the internet bubble, again, housing bubble here in 2007, each and every time we have seen this actual markdown phase, the market has retraced up to 50%. And in our case, so far, as I've already been clear with you guys, this is around 24 to 25%. So what am I trying to say you here is that since crypto market is very much correlated with the traditional market, any sort of a retracement, any sort of a weakness here can also be reflected in Bitcoin and crypto market in general. So that's why guys, that's why if we are expecting further retracement in S&P 500, then that could be also a sign of danger for us because we know you can see the CPI index is around 8 0.6% and this is a very very high number guys because if you look at this from 2000 till 2022 this 8.6 is a very very high number and that is also the reason why the Fed are being this hawkish recently they just plan to hike up the interest rate by 75 basis point and to control this inflation hiking up the interest rate is the only option right now so that's why that's why we have to be very very careful because this average inflation what they are planning is around two to three percent so for that to happen how hawkish the fed must be so that's why please remember this interest rate hike is going to continue continue until the end of this year and maybe until end of next year so please keep this in mind and not just only this year guys if you also look at this s p 500 shilo pe ratio as of June 17, we are 38% above the average line. And this S&P 500 ratio is also giving us a big warning sign. A sign that market is still overvalued. Even after this retracement of 25%, the market is still overvalued. For a modern era average PE value, we must be around 19.8 to 20%. So if this is going to see a further retracement, then you can see guys, as of June 17, 2022, S&P 500 PE ratio is 38% higher than the modern era average. By this valuation, the market is overvalued and to fall back to the modern era average, the S&P 500 would need to return to around $2,200 area. So now you can see if we are going to see a retracement around this $2,200, even let's say $2,400 area, then the market is going to drop another 25 percent so in total just like an actual markdown phase maybe we are also going to retrace further here towards this 50 percent and only after that calling it a bottom i'm not trying to create any kind of fear i'm just showing you what i see looking at the chart looking at the macro perspective and that's why guys that's why right now this is a big big warning sign not just only the cpi index not just only Fed being hawkish, not just only the S&P 500 PE ratio. Also, guys, also, if you look at this margin debt, according to this margin debt and S&P 500 chart, you can see very clearly the margin debt was at its record high. And this is right now also a big sign of danger because if the margin debt starts falling, so does crypto and also stocks. Because you can see very clearly, if you follow this S&P 500 market cap and also the margin debt, you can see whenever the margin debt was clearly showing this uptrend, so was the S&P 500. But when margin debt started falling down, so did the S&P 500. You can see same scenario, same process has been repeating again and again. And now if you look at this margin debt, it was at record high and now it is falling. If this margin debt is going to see a further retracement, then we have to be extremely careful because you can see, in the past price action, whenever margin debt starts falling, so does the price from stocks and also crypto. Because margin debt is the money investors borrow in order to invest into stocks using their own stock as a collateral. And if the margin debt starts going down, they are going to get a margin call. So this is also a big sign of danger at this current stage. So that's why I'm warning you, even though the S&P 500 had already seen a retracement, 
maybe this is not the end maybe the market is going to see further retracement and if that is going to happen then definitely the price of bitcoin is not going to hold the support even around this 14 15 000 and we could be seeing lower numbers maybe between 9 to 12 000 that's where i personally will be betting if the worst case scenario is going to happen and for the immediate short term i just showed you here in a daily time frame weekly time frame but for the media short term if you follow the price action of bitcoin you can see very clearly guys we are still following this descending channel each and every time the price of bitcoin has found support at the lower line area after that we have seen this very nice relief rally type of scenario so that's why since we are inside the descending channel still holding the support around the lower line area we are also expecting a very very similar scenario just like here to happen i mean consolidation even a relief rally before price chooses an actual trend duration so for all these scenarios to happen here in the medium short term we want this resistance around 22,400 to be broken and also this one important resistance line around 24,000 700 to be broken at any cost only after that we are calling this as an actual reversal where we could be also getting towards this 30,000 price range retracement around this 30,000 price range so these are some of the quick updates that i wanted to share with you in today's video if you enjoyed my work then please hit the like button and also for those individuals watching this for the first time hit that subscribe button and the bell so by saying this i'm signing out my name is anup bye bye